れ一尾っていうんですかしゃくっちゃったな Y'all, it's your boy Ace Opnip, and today, people, I will be reviewing Boruto Naruto Next Generation Episode 57 The Reason I Can't Lose. This second round was freaking dope, yo. They did this so very well, dog. The, the showdown between each of the other villages' ninjas was freaking on fleek. The minor characters in which I was rooting for, they got eliminated. Team Iwabe and Team Samide. Samide, I, I pretty much saw coming, but dog, did you see how good Shinky was? His two other teammates, they would just chill at their flag while freaking Shiki went to get the other flag. He walked Dinky's behind. He crushed Iwabe, and bro, when you saw Metal Lee versus Sheik, you can't tell me you didn't get Gata versus Broccoli flashbacks, dog. You you can't because the type of moves in which Lee was doing, I could have sworn Metal Lee would have moved faster, or we get some weights to get dropped, so we can have an all-out brawl. But Shiki was using his head like. He distracted this man long enough so he could just do what he needed to do, which was to steal his flag. And, bro, I was like, are you dead serious? Man, we could have got maybe, you know, like, a good little flashback of what happened between Gata and Rock Lee, but it wasn't going to happen. And I'm so freaking upset, bro, because it would have been dope. Because you see Rock, I mean, dang. You see Metal Lee giving it his all. All out. And then for him to say, yeah, we're not done yet. And Mashinki just said, bro, we done. Trust me, we're done. Boruto, as you guys have saw from the movie, I'm not going to rehash this. To something else that's happened. Gata, Meta, with Chochiro, and Sasuke. When Gata was trying to go on the off, I mean, go on the defense, right? Or she could throw his line out and he was able to hook Gata. But he wasn't able to pull out like his hook. And essentially, or she could pull it out and, and that was it. And he said literally that was all he came for. I was like, bro, are you dead serious? Like, what does that mean? Like, holy snot. But my thing about it is, I thought... Chikaku returned to Gata. I guess that wasn't the case, but somehow Chikaku was still able to get in contact with Gata. I don't know how that goes. Bro, it's just like, it's just nuts. Or she could just pulls up and say, yo, what's up? And then, you know, he attacks and he doesn't make a sound. Sound and no one, like, saw what had happened. This, them adding Urashiki to the freaking anime. This is going to like raise a lot of questions. That's how you build mystery, dog. This is literally how you build mystery, and you didn't see this card coming. But yeah, this episode it was it was pretty good. At times, I you could tell they were drawing out the episode, but it made sense. They're getting ready for our, the tuning tournament, so they can't draw it out that far. Um, Naruto visiting Boruto for Naruto to congratulate him on passing the second round. It was like. Naruto didn't know how to like congratulate his son and I'm like you're saying is that because he didn't have um someone to congratulate him when he was a um child or his dad couldn't do that to him so he didn't know how to do that to Boruto or was he trying to play the cool comic collector route in which he had played in the episode where 
um, he was where he wanted to see how the match was going to go for um, Boruto, but he couldn't because he had um, Hokage duties. I don't know. But guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Next week is going to be freaking lit. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Operatives! Move that.